Greetings! I have very fun news to share today. I recently became an ambassador for the brand Altenew. They sent me these items, including this little pamphlet with a cute cat on it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Altenew is a brand that is more um, about crafting in general. I mean, not not one thing in particular. They have clear stamps, thighs, stencil, ink sprays, washi tape. Their washi tapes are absolutely gorgeous. And most relevant to us today, watercolors. Um, yeah, they also have scrapbook collections, inks, markers, and a really nice selection of paper for scrapbooking that I saw. So what they sent me today are three watercolor relevant items. I have these uh, watercolor brush markers, which seem to be basically like a brush pen, but instead of having water in there, you have um, liquid watercolor. Create stunning works of art with our watercolor brush markers. The barrel is filled with water-based color and coordinates with our line of inks. So that's pretty awesome. I have not used anything like that, so it's going to be quite the learning curve. <laughs> I love the colors. All right, and also these two things that I'm so excited to open. I'm going to start with the metallic watercolors. Um, what does it say? Alt new metallic watercolor for the perfect amount of glamour. This set of metallic watercolor includes the perfect colors to add a gorgeous touch of rich shimmer to your projects. These look stunning on any color of paper, especially black. The circular pots snap into the convenient case, which has space to store a brush. There is also a mixing palette on the lid with four wells. So this set has 14 colors that are opaque, and the colors we have in here are sterling silver, Gold Pearl, Enchanted Gold, Rhodolite, Rose Quartz, Jade, Praseolite, Aquamarine, Topaz, Amethyst, Bronze, Citron, Copper, and Garnet. So basically they are all named after uh, precious stones or minerals, which is fitting for shimmer paints. Alright, so let's open this up. Ooh, nice! So, so much easier to have branded boxes. <laughs> because, I mean, with a bunch of black boxes, you never quite know what is what. I really appreciate when there's some sort of branding on those. Right, remove the noisy plastic. There you go. Right. This is my favorite moment, opening a tin. <laughs> It's always great. Ta da! <laughs> First thing I notice is um, the circular pots snap into the convenient case. Well, these are full pans, so I'm not gonna complain, but these are not circular pots. <laughs> okay, I'll take it, you know, not, not a problem. Uh, the colors are beautiful. There's a little water brush that comes with the set. And yeah, this is really exciting. That's beautiful. So let's let's take a look at the tin. Like most tins of this type, you have a tray that is removable. Uh, no, no pans fell down when I tipped this, which is awesome. I'm trying to. Oh, what is this? Hmm. Hold on. Okay, that, that could be rust though, so I will have to take a look into this. If it is rust, I will just clean it up, let it dry, and put the pans back in. Uh, that's one thing. Then we have this palette, which is, you know, how we like to have those. Meaning, well, this is a bit bent forward, but you can always bend it back like this. But uh, a nice mixing tray with 
like closed up space in the corners. There's only this gap here, but it's never been a problem really. You can just focus the heavier mixes towards these sides. Lots of nice places to mix colors. Four wells in the lid, which is awesome. And technically you can remove the tray and use this space underneath for more mixes, but I never do. Right, so just put this back in. You know, you can secure these in place. I'm not going to do it now because I'm going to have to remove this again, but you just bend these outwards and you push them back in the tray and they, they will hold better into place and stop moving around. Okay, so that's the metallic set. Clunk. Clunk. Let's take a look at the regular set. This says, um, Alta New Artists, Watercolor. Rich and luminous, exceptional colors for exquisite artwork. 24 half pan. Oh, interesting. Okay, um, this gorgeous set of 24 individually wrapped half pans coordinates perfectly with our all to new color families. The artist grade colors are intensely pigmented with little to no granulation and blend beautifully. They are stored in a convenient metal case designed with space for your brush and a palette in the lid for mixing. The colors, they all have um, their own original names. Uh, like, it's not pigment names and all that. The white is named Pure White, but after that we have Summer Afternoon, Fiery Sunset, Warm and Cozy, Tea Party, Red Cosmos, Red Sunset, Cherry Blossom, Shades of purple, um, lapis lazuli, deep blue seas, crystal water, starry night, cool summer night, <laughs> rainforest, tropical forest, seashore, green hills, pocket full of sunshine, nice, green meadows, fall harvest, delectable delights, coffee break, and rock collection. I had a rock collection when I was a kid, I still have it. Alright, this is the one I'm super duper excited about because. I'm just gonna unwrap this noise. Oh. Yeah, like I said, I'm super excited for this one because look at this. First of all, it's not black. Oh, this is so pretty. I love that it's not black. Oh, wow. I have a stack of black palettes and you're always like fishing out for the right one, but with a color like this, unique. I don't think I've seen a palette this color, so you really can't mix it up with any other color, any other set. Nice with this protective foamy thing. Lovely. And everything is um, wrapped, which is different oops, than the previous set. All right, let's get this out. Check the tin. Again, nice rounded edges, no sharp no sharpness here, so it's really safe to to hold in your hands. Uh, this tray again. They always um. Oops. Just have to push the pin back in a bit. Yeah. They always kind of bend a bit outwards, but since this is a metal tin, you can sort of bend it down a bit, so it's it's more straight. So that's great. Lovely, more mixing space, the four wells. I really enjoy having four wells. Some boxes have three, which is, you know, better than nothing, but four is really handy. And this is also really nice. Beautiful. And now this part. Unlike the previous set, uh, this one doesn't seem to have any, any flecks of rust in it. I think it's probably because the pans are wrapped and uh, maybe there was less humidity this way. I'll definitely find a way to clean up the other tray, but just on first first glance. Um, let's take a look at one color. Let's grab this one. Seashore. Come on. <laughs> All right. Oh, interesting. Okay, hold on. All right, so here I have seashore. Seashore, you see the pigments here? Awesome. Um... Alta New, Artist Watercolor, Seashore with the beautiful swatch. Seashore, but, 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 look at this, it's a sticker. If I can manage to peel it off. 
carefully. It's not easy to <laughs> film something and and work on it at the same time. Right, right, right. So yeah, this is basically a sticker, and you have the the, the color underneath. And with this sticker, it's much more easy to um, stick them on your color charts. You will see what I mean by that later on. All right, so yeah, uh, 24 colors. Uh, based on the names we saw, they go like this way and then down and that way. It's a really nice, like bright, colorful assortment of color judging from the, the paper wrappers. Uh, there is one white which is maybe useful a bit more when crafting than using watercolor for painting. But overall, it's a really satisfying, um, um, a really satisfying selection of colors. We have three yellows here, from one that seems a bit neutral to an orangey one. Orangey? <laughs> a more warm orange yellow. Uh, then red, two colors that look like a magenta. Another red color, but a bit more cool. Another magenta, but then again a bit more cool. One purple. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five blues. Seem really nice. Have more um, warmer and cooler blues. Then this turquoise color that I'm super excited to swatch out. And we have four greens. From a really yellowy green to a more neutral green in a way. And then three earth colors with a yellow ochre color, sort of a burnt sienna color, and then kind of an umber color. And we have rock collection. Is it a black or is it a gray? Am I going to be able to take it off? Okay. That is PBK9, so that's a black pigment. So we have a, a, a white and a black in this set. But considering we have 22 other colors to paint from, it doesn't bother me as much. It really bothers me to have black and white in a set when it only has 12 colors. Or even less than that. Because then you have to to find everything you need in the remaining colors. And in this case, the remaining colors are very, very diverse. So yeah. Klunk. Klunk. Absolutely beautiful set. Super excited to swatch it out. Will be my next step and I will also try and see uh, how I can possibly clean this one. I will just remove all the full pans that are really nice by the way. Nice full pans. Named. Um, the pans themselves they seem to be quite normal. It's the tray that has a bit of a an issue and if I can't find a way to clean this up I will maybe switch it out with another one of my uh, unused palette trays because since I'm going to be using water in this set I really don't want to propagate the rust into the paints so that's that's a concern so I will work on this and I will let you know how I ended up fixing this I painted the swatches and it was quite enjoyable. The paints are smooth and easy to rewet. The set of 24 colors comes with pigment information, which is appreciated. We don't always get that info with watercolor sets from paper crafting companies. I was curious so I compiled the pigments used in this range and found it uses 17 different pigments to create these 24 colors. They say these paints are not or lightly granulating, but I ended up with some strong texture on a few colors, like the black. The colors are mostly transparent, only two of them have more of a semi-transparent finish. There are a few weird things going on with these colors and these pigments. Lindsay, the frugal crafter, has mentioned quite a lot of them in her review video. There is one weird typo error in the name of the pigment PBR6. There is also a certain level of confusion with certain pigments and their resulting colors. For example, the color Crystal Water 
is technically made with the warm ultramarine blue pigment, so kind of a reddish blue. But the resulting color is a cool blue, much closer to a phthalo blue green shade. It's quite similar to Lapis Lazuli, which is a warm blue, but is technically made with the cool Prussian blue. The color Cool Summer Night, although lovely, is labeled as including cobalt blue in its mix, but the painted color is not indicative of the presence of that pigment in there. I wanted to do the full test run with this set, because I'm always a bit more curious about the performance of sets that fall between professional and student paints, or that are more unknown. I used Bee's cotton paper for these tests, as it's a good and inexpensive cotton paper. I painted four layers of the paint, ending over a patch of black watercolor ground. When the layers were all dry, I tried to scrub off some of the paint, to see how much stays on the paper. As you can see, the paints layered very well. They were mostly transparent, even with four layers. However, it's quite difficult to scrub off the layers of paint. With as many layers, they end up staining the paper. I also prepared a swatch sheet for the metallic colors, with a part of the swatch being the black watercolor ground as a base. Again, some color names are a bit counterintuitive, or at least they were for me. The bronze looks like rose gold to me, and I didn't expect the blue to be named topaz. Although I looked it up and the stone can indeed be such a blue. The colors are quite visible on both the white and the black background, and some colors have some sort of granulation to them. Bless you, Pico. I ran into a couple of issues with the metallic paint set. I've mentioned the rust on the tray, which is problematic with water-based paints. If the rust or corrosion gets to the paint, it can affect that paint and make the contaminated part unusable. Also, these paints don't have the most pleasant smell. It's barely noticeable on the painted swatches, but opening the tin does eventually spread the smell around.
The paints were a lot of fun to use for the demo. They mixed well and spread well over the paper, with limited backgrounds and no streaking. They also mixed very well together. The colors are bright, and the selection is quite nice. I really love the greens in this set. They are a very nice selection of greens. So, what do I think? I would say that the watercolor set is a very nice set overall. The tin is different and fresh and of really nice quality. The selection of colors is well balanced, in my opinion. The colors might be a bit weak at first layer, but I was able to stack four layers and got to a very nice transparent vibrancy. This might be different with cellulose paper, as the paint doesn't absorb as much in that fiber. The set has a few flaws, however. There's a few fugitive pigments in there, which might not work for you if you do art that's meant to be on the walls a long time. The pigment lineup is a bit confusing, but then again, if you don't pay attention to that, it's not really relevant. Finally, I would say that this set is a bit expensive. It has the potential for lasting quite a while and reusing it for new paints once these run out, but it's no small investment. As for the metallic paint set, I have a bit more experience to gather with it to give out a full review. The rusted tray and the weird smell are a bit of a bummer. The tray can be substituted with one from a similar tin, as this format of tin is quite standard which is what I did with mine. Not much to do about the smell for now. I love that the paints show strongly on either a pale or a dark background. Again, a big thank you to Altenew for sending me these paints to review. Make sure to check the links in the description if you want to check out these sets up close. I'll also be posting full resolution scans of the swatches and tests to my Patreon page. Let me know what you think of these paints in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching, take care, bye bye.